Memorial Weekend Classic. This is and always will be the greatest spectacle in racing. Hey guys, come with me as we go pre-shopping for the 8500. First thing we need is a bag or a backpack or something to put our belongings in so we can be hands free. So we're trying to find like a fanny pack or something. options that they have like a little backpack. Come in, come in, come in. And this guy like this big compartment. You can fit water bottles, baby wipes, wallet, whatever, whatever. It's roomy, but I don't really want to have a backpack. So I'm probably not gonna do this one. They got this cute little fanny pack. It is twenty-five dollars, and it comes with like this little belt closure, and it comes with two front pockets. And then on the inside, I think it can fit uh, quite a bit of stuff in here. Maybe a water bottle, wallet, wipes, makeup, essential snacks and stuff. I'm not quite feeling this one either though. But it's cute. It's usable. And then there's this one. Which is lightweight. Crossbody. And it's just as spacious as the other ones. There's some cute cat chairs. We gonna need them cause we gonna be in the stands. Some cute chairs. So, if you're in the I think it's called like the general admission pit, you can just get you a little chair and kick it. they reasonable. You can also go to five and below and get you one for five dollars if we're being frugal because I do have one of those. All right, we're gonna come back, 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 back. Oh, right here. So on the inside, show y'all. On the inside, it comes with this little bladder thing, which is this one is two liters, and you can fill up with water and ice, and it'll stay cool all day. Then you just back, 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 back. and you can put all your other stuff in here too, instead of like carrying around a bunch of water bottles. So I kind of want this. It's $35, and I'm just trying to decide because I already have a backpack and it's just too big to take into the event. How does it look? I think this look all right. It's a fanny pack, but it comes with a water bottle, refillable, and still can fit all my other stuff in here. Oh, right, like this it got pockets and compartments. I think I'm gonna get this. <laughs> so here's something else y'all might need. I already got one, but oh wait. This is the mister. Oh, this is the one I got. Personal thing. Okay. And this is the one you fill with water. And then you just. Ladies, you might need to touch up your makeup in that heat. Get you one. $12.99. Okay. This is 
say $14.99, but I feel like it's in the wrong spot. But you know, stay cool. We don't need nobody stroking out in that heat, all right? Let's go get some snacks. And this is my favorite tequila. All right. And I do need a flavor. They don't have a kind of one. So, do need some water. They they sell concession and everything, but I just would rather have my own water so I can freeze it and it'll be cold. And I'm gonna show y'all how to prepare your water so it'll stay cold all day while you're out and about. Some real country stuff for you. I like smart water. I ain't too bad. Wait a minute, two point one. Got a little heavy around here. This is like this won't even fit. Like, come on. It don't even fit. It ain't even on. <laughs> Tragic. Big head problems. 25. Low head problems. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ain't able. Alright y'all, so today we're back and we're outside. Um, we're gonna like walk around and see all the things that the Indy 500 has to offer. There's a lot of vendors out here, people, bars and stuff. But also, it's really hard to find parking. So we just went to one building that was offering parking. They wanna charge $40. So it was like, no, absolutely not. But then we came further down the street, we saw these pretty little black girls at their church and they was like $25 and I was like yes shot with your people support your people okay okay and so once you come out here you'll be on Speedway and you'll see all these different businesses offering parking food barbecue well barbecue is food, liquor um, you'll see people in their houses like tailgating and it's pretty dope this is the day before the race so everybody just out kicking it being festive <laughs> Four dollars. 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 Four doll
like the shiny one or the one on the left of the logo that's a little more subtle. y'all right, I'm back it is very hot as you can see I have all my touristy things and I really love this visor which came in handy because it's hot and the Sun is brighter than I anticipated for today uh, so we pretty much just walk down the strip and the strip is what they call like Speedway and Main Street so you get to see like all the shops all the vendors a lot of artwork, a lot of drinking, and everybody's that side in their fancy cars and motorcycles, big flexing. So, it's cool. So this is the day before the race, and it's a vibe, it's a vibe. So, we got us a little bit of a breeze here, and it seems to be kind of, not dying down, but I feel like everybody, yeah, they probably hot. <laughs> we had to make a quick pick stop, y'all, because it's hot. Hotter than we anticipated. So we in the gas station for some little snackety snacks. Well, no snacks, some water. Period. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Should I get body armor, electrolytes? Or just water, or should I get both? Orange mango, fruit punch, cherry. 
wobbles. Ah, uh, I'll try this. Oh, it's still cool. So, I'm gonna try this. Never had it. We're gonna see. Okay, never mind. I just got put on to this strawberry grape Mamba Forever body armor. We're gonna see. the street to the speedway this is where the actual race is gonna go down and as you can see a lot of people here trying to get their pre-race day pics videos in front of the gate in the sign and I don't think you can go in right now but we gonna try to get some close-ups y'all we are coming to an end of pre-race day mainly because my battery is about to die but also we've seen everything that we want to see right now we are walking down the lane inside the international uh indian indianapolis motor speedway um and this is where we are gonna go tomorrow to get to our seats. And it's like an RV park out here. People camp and travel from all over the world. Um, somebody got that pack. <laughs> uh, but look at this little man. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. We're about to close our day out and we just, looking and you can see like all the different racers and their numbers like their uh andretti autosport sponsor these but that's grosjean grosjean let me zoom in and he's supposed to be a pretty good racer uh who else ed carpenter so yeah. Oh, he drive for uh, Andretti. Team Andretti. All right, guys. Real quick before my phone dies, <laughs> it's so hot. But today is the wrap up. We're wrapping up day. Mm, I don't know. I guess you can call this day two or the pre-race day. So we'll see y'all tomorrow for the race. Bye.
here we are once again with another Karen alert. Hi. Okay. Thank you. It's a tripod. They said tripods are allowed. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, it's a tripod. Okay, thank you. All right, good morning, y'all. We are, today's race day, and we're walking into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's very, very busy, very packed. And right now, it is 8.51. The gates open at 8 o'clock. So, get here early, find your seat, then run around. The race doesn't start until 12.47, but with the amount of people, you just want to get here early. Um, I'm going to show you. You can bring coolers and stuff in here. You can bring your own drinks, no glass. You bring your own food and stuff. But, very cool, very chill. And people up. They up early. So we about to walk around a little bit, see what we can see, and try to find our seats. We are sitting in uh, North Vista, which is like between turn three and turn four. All right, so they also have like a refreshments concession stand. They only accept cards here. So bring that plastic. Um chicken tenders, cheeseburgers, cocktails. Another thing too, they have a lot of restrictions on what you can and can't bring. So no selfie sticks, but you can bring tripods, like a handheld tripod or a tall standing tripod. So I have like a little mini one. As long as it has legs that fold out, you good. Cause mine looks, it looks like a selfie stick, but it's not. And I'll show y'all once we sit in. So, if you guys um, will see from day two or the pre-race day, we went and got our merch early. Otherwise, you'll be like these people in this long line on game day. But it's up to you, you know, do you. But we like to do things early. have these little chair rentals you can uh, rent. Hi. How much are these? $10? Are you accepting card? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, let me check and see if he wants one. <laughs> so, another tip I want to add is um, if you park or get dropped off, like we got dropped off, Try to park close to where you're gonna be sitting because the stadium is two miles around, I think. So if you sitting on one side, but you got dropped off on the complete opposite side, prepare to mob, prepare to use those legs and walk. So like we got dropped off right down the street and it only took us like maybe three minutes to get to our section, which I think we have arrived. It's a bar right by our section. And Ooh, they got a souvenir cup. Hi. Hi, honey. Uh, what does a souvenir cup look like? We don't have any of the um. Ooh, okay. All right, thank you. You <laughs> So this is our view. That's turn three. Over there, that's the general admission tailgating. Um, it's like 50 bucks. So if you got a car, tanks and stuff, you can um, set up and camp out and watch the race from over there. I'm a little windy because baby, those steps, no joke. And then that's turn four. They really say that those are the best seats in the house. Those and over there. 
in that corner, but I feel like we got a good view. And we got a screen right here, so we'll be able to see the rest of the race on the other side of the track. So, it's a good day. I'm excited. So let me show y'all some other stuff we got. The seats are numbered. But they're just bleacher seats. So we rented these, they were 10 bucks. And if you're a person who don't want to sit on bleachers all day, this is cool. Also, most of the sections are uh, row A to row Z, Z, double letters. So the higher your letter, letter your row, the higher you'll be, and really the better view you'll have. So we're, again, we're in row FF. And our section stops at rows PP. So. Yeah, so we walking, about to go, try to see if we can get to the front of the starting line, cause a lot of stuff happens up there before the race starts. The race doesn't start for another two hours. And we've been here since maybe right at nine, 8.50 maybe. Um, but one thing I wanna say is, I've never been to Indiana. So you know, everywhere you go in the country is gonna be different demographics. And sometimes you might be the only you, but y'all know the y'all know what's universal. Y'all know the head nod universal. So we done got a couple head nods. <laughs> so that's cool. But we just mobbing. Just mobbing. for a lot of young people, especially like learning here. And it's just unbelievable that we've been able to do this. We are back home again at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And when you look up in those grandstands, what's something you might want to say to some of those young fans who could appreciate the race for quality and change? Well, first of all, I mean, this is absolutely incredible. This is my first Indy 500 that I've been to. And I'm just trying to soak it all in. Um, but I just gotta say for everybody out there that's watching us, supporting us, you know, just keep chasing after your dreams. This is something that I uh, never thought that I'd be able to do. Uh, being able to stand here watching the 500 and hopefully being able to race it here in the future. It's just uh, an incredible dream and it's an honor to be doing it for Force Indy and uh, the race for quality change. That is driver Ernie Francis Jr. and team manager of Force Indy, Rob Reed. Guys? Thank you, George. Say hello, salute. Former champion here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway.
pretty and almost cost the second crash. This is like the fifth or sixth crash of the race here. And it's 50 more laps to go. Great time. 